love how I can update my Kia Telluride's infotainment system software on my own. Let's go through it together. Hi, this is David of tech for baba Welcome to my channel. In today's video, let's update the software of my 2021 Kia Telluride's navigation and entertainment system. It should work similarly on other Kia models too. I like how it's relatively straightforward to do. It's almost like updating the OS on a phone or on a computer. All I need is an USB thumb drive at least 64 gigabytes in size. 32 gigabytes used to be enough before, but the latest software takes up more space. I'm using this 64 gigabyte USB 3.2 Gen 1 thumb drive from Team Group this time. The overall process is to download the software update file from the Kia website and transfer it to the thumb drive with the downloader on my computer. Then take the thumb drive with the software update files on it to the car. Insert it into the USB port of the car to perform the update. Alright, let's do it. Kia recommends formatting the thumb drive to XFAT format, so let's do that first. Here on my Mac, Using this utility, select Erase and the XFAT format. Wait till it's done. Next, let's download the updater program to download the software update and transfer it to the thumb drive. Go to Kia Navigation Updates website, update.kia.com. I'll put the link in the description below. Start by downloading the navigation updater used to download the software update file. The updater program is available on both Windows PC and Mac. I'm using the Mac here, so let's pick Mac to download the updater program. Once the updater program is downloaded, here it is in my default downloads folder. Click on it to install. I have an older version of the program, so yes, to install the newer version. The navigation updater starts automatically. Enter the email address and password to log in, or sign up for a new account if you haven't done it before. You can also log in just as a guest. Once logged in, I can search for my vehicle by model. There are many Kia models listed here. In my case, it's a Telluride 2020 to 2021 Telluride. You can also enter the navigation system model or software version directly if you know what they are. Hit OK. It selects the correct navigation software update to be downloaded to the thumb drive. Data size is 38 gigabytes, and it requires 63 gigabytes of local hard drive space to download it too before transferring the files to the thumb drive. Hit Next. It confirms the thumb drive is indeed larger than 32 gigabytes. Hit Yes. Confirms that formatting will delete all data on the thumb drive. Hit Yes. There it goes. The update is now being downloaded. Very slowly. Wow, it'll take more than 30 minutes to download. The download speed is very slow at only 8 megabytes per second, even though I have a gigabit internet connection. Many Kia owners seem to share the similar slow download speeds with fast internet connections. Let's just cut to when the download completes. It did take more than 30 minutes for me this time. Download is now completed. I can see the software update files are on the thumb drive. Close the updater program. Take out the thumb drive and let's go to the car. All right, we're now in my Telluride. Starting the engine. You can see that I still have an older version with the tube amps radio display. I believe the new version got rid of it. I can double check the current software versions from the home screen by going to setup, select general, then software info update 
Let's plug the thumb drive into the USB port. It's reading the USB drive and it detects there's an update available. Great! It lists the software version to update to. I can choose to update now or do the update in the background. Notice update after vehicle is turned off is grayed out, so it cannot be picked. Let's pick update now. Okay. It says turning off the ignition can drain the battery. Please keep the vehicle on to keep a reliable power source for the update. Okay. Update. Press the start button to proceed. No other functions will be available during update. And the total update time is 45 minutes. That's a long time. Okay, let's start. Since the software update takes a long time, the car should be running during the update to keep the battery charged. Note the start time is 11.39 AM. By the way, if you wish your Telluride has wireless airplay like I do, check out this little gadget. I'll have a link to my video review on it in the description below. Take a look after this video. Okay, I waited and waited. Even finished my weekly status report for work and it's still updating. Perhaps taking longer because I skip a couple of updates? Towards the end of the update, it went through a couple of reboots. And finally, at 12.58 p.m., almost 80 minutes later, it's done. There's a QR code linked to what's new with this update. Can get more details here too. And that's it. Took a while, but everything seems to be working well. Feel snappier, but that may just be my knowing it's new. Not by much, if any at all. An obvious difference for me though is the 2M radio display is now gone. I kind of like the retro 2M look, even though it wasn't as informative. What do you think? Do you like the 2M look or the new look? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Hope it gives you an idea of how a software update on my Telluride is like. If you find any part of this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you want to see more videos on how technology can enhance our life with kids and family, subscribe to the channel and check out this video next. I'll see you in that next one. Until then, remember to cherish each moment.